Hey guys, Havasulu out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this newly reduced six bedroom pool home on the lake side of the highway with a killer lake view. Hang out and check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, we're out here at 1409 Electra Bay. This one was under contract and fell out of escrow because the buyer couldn't perform and it has been reduced to 1 million even. It's in a killer lakeside of the highway area at the end of a cul-de-sac. Sits on just over a half acre. Everything over here is pretty desirable. This is kind of a place to be because it's right down to the launch ramp. So there's plenty of room to build an RV garage here in the front is, I guess, the plan. If that's something you wanted to do. And it's right down uh, at the end of the cul-de-sac. And then it kind of has a driveway that goes all the way back here. And there is a two-bedroom casita back there now. So this house has been fully remodeled. And I actually uh, have seen this house a long time ago before the remodel so i'm kind of excited to see what it looks like inside so let's go on and check it out so the lake views are just killer from here all right now let's go on and check it out All right, guys, this is a six bedroom, four bath pool home built in 1981, 3,650 square feet. Again, on a huge 23,000 square foot lot. So that's just over a half acre, all remodeled at the end of a cul-de-sac in uh, Lakeside of the Highway neighborhood. So you got the double wrought iron front doors, Split level, huge kitchen, tall vaulted ceilings, huge, huge kitchen island. So you got can lights everywhere, nice granite tops. There's a little Wine fridge, we'll get to in a minute. All plank tile floors. Lots of uh, natural window light. And a double slider out to the backyard. And these killer, killer lake views are amazing. We'll go out there and check those out here in a minute. So I'm looking at the walls here and they look bigger than two by six. So there's probably a ton of insulation in the walls. I also see a mini split AC unit on the wall back there. Uh, with the central air. See how big these window sills are? So I guess the people that built this house, this was supposed to be their forever home. And, you know, life happened and things changed. So you have the stainless appliances. Little wine fridge. I really like the cabinet look, the little distressed white. There's a dishwasher and what looks like to be either an ice maker or another fridge. So you have really substantial lake views out of your kitchen window here. Very, very Nice, can't wait. So they did a real nice job on the granite and the tile backsplash. Has RO at the sink and one of those uh, touch faucets. Under cabinet lighting. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, so I think we're gonna head upstairs first and see what's up there. 
It's all tile stairs as well. These are uh, porcelain you know, type tiles, not vinyl. So to the left, you have a little like office nook. There's also a little hallway closet right here. And this is just under stair type storage. So the first room you run into is a master suite. It's not huge. Does have a walk-in closet. So it also has another little office nook and huge killer views out of this window as well. And then you have this master bath set up with a raised jetted tub with stacked stone. So if you want to take a bath and look at the lake, this is about what it really looks like to the eye right about there. So that's what you would be looking at taking your bath. So this has dual sinks and a granite top. Same plank tile floors, dual mirrors, nice crown molding and a walk-in shower with some stacked stone. Dual heads. With a dual flush, high efficiency toilets. And then it wraps around into a, another master suite as this is kind of a Jack and Jill setup. This one's uh, much bigger. Has a barn door slider. This one also has a big walk-in closet with the dual sliding glass doors. Looks like they did all the windows in the house too, new vinyl windows when they did the remodel. So you have a wide slider out of this master, again with just killer lake views. So you have this cool uh, view deck out here with glass walls and the views are just phenomenal. Let me see if I can zoom in to show you what it looks like from here. Yeah, that's about it right there. Very pretty. Can't wait to go boating. So down here you have the casita and the pool area and the backyard that we're gonna go check out here in a minute. And off this side is more backyard and the covered little patio living area. All right, we're just gonna keep walking around the hall here and see what else we can find so this goes into a little hall and then there is another bedroom that is also connected to a jack and jill bathroom so we would call this a master as well so it has the plantation shutters there is a closet but it's kind of different but it still counts it's just a double door. I thought it was an ironing board at first, but it's just one of these double door closets. So we do call this a bedroom. It's got some big crown molding. And then it Jack and Jill's into this bathroom. So you have your walk-in shower. And one sink. This could be used as a hallway bath as well. All right, so we're back in the hallway where we kind of started and we're gonna go downstairs and see what else we can find. Okay, now we're going downstairs. Getting all the same plank tile floor 
And off to your left here, it looks like a utility type room that leads to the garage and a beer fridge. So you have another master bath type setup, dual sinks, granite tops, dual mirrors, same nice crown molding. Nice soaker tub. Has some towel storage and a toilet with its own door. And of course, your tiled walk in shower. Dual heads in here as well. So this is a huge shower. So this just keeps on going. Jack and Jill's again to another bedroom. Slide her out to the backyard that we're going to go check out here in a minute. You pretty much have views from every room in this house. So at the bottom of the stairs to your right when you come down is a utility room. Granite tops, have your washer and dryer set up in here, and a door out to the backyard pool area. There's also a little double slider door that houses the soft water. There's some storage, and there's also an RO system back here. All right, we're back in that little utility room with access to the two-car garage. So this is the attached two-car garage, just kind of your standard setup. 21 feet deep, seven foot door. All right guys, we're out of the double eight foot slider from the living room to this covered uh, back patio living type area that you could see from the front of the house. Got a TV, stack stone, fireplace. There's power on this, there's some lights, of course, killer views. Just cover the TV back up for them. And of course, your awesome lake views. So this just kind of wraps around the back here. Need some typical type patio maintenance with the paint and the cool deck. So you have a cool little bar top area, it has the stack stone, looks like travertine tile tops. Have a little garden type section over here with some uh, turf, but I do see water running to it. Pretty cool little bar setup with uh, the lake views, of course. More little uh, Erosion of the cool deck, so it needs a little, little love. Big backyard, horseshoes, tons of space back here. This is a fiberglass pool, so they need very little maintenance. Looks like it has a fiber optic light setup. It's a beautiful day in Havasu. I guess it's supposed to get super windy and stormy the next couple days, so right now it's amazing. So that is the man door out of the garage. So this is the back of the garage. And let's go check out what they did to this casita that used to be a garage, I believe, and they turned into a uh, casita. So let's go have a peek. So you have your pool equipment back here, kind of tucked back. You don't see any leaking or water. Doesn't take much to keep these fiberglass pools up. So let's go out here first. All right, so we're down the driveway where we kind of started and this kind of just wraps around. Tons and tons of parking down here.
So just an FYI, those garage doors are just um, fake. So it did used to be a garage. Uh, what kind of what I remember of it, it was just a pretty dilapidated setup. So let's go see what has become of it. This guy, huh? All right, so you have a little walking path down and around here. This does back to the mobile home district, in case you haven't figured it out, uh, but it's super clean. It's actually a pretty desirable little setup over here. It's no junk like you would probably expect. So you have an outdoor shower and a glass slider into this casita that they made out of the existing garage. It's a pretty big space. It is not counted in the uh, square footage appraisal as this was not permitted because this was going to be their forever house. But a contractor did do all the work so it would be very minimal most likely to get this all up to speed with the city, maybe 250 bucks or something. Um, I don't know, it's a due diligence thing for sure. It's like they pre-wired everything for sound, can lights. These are, um, you know, like four mica topped counters. Killer lake view from the kitchen window, of course. So this has two bedrooms and they have huge tall ceilings. double slider into the closet. So this also Jack and Jill's into a bathroom that has two vanities and a tiled walk-in shower, two heads, dual flush toilet. This also would serve as like the guest bath they have two mini split AC units on the wall there. So it has its own AC. And then there's another uh, bedroom. All three of these openings have barn doors, sliders. This is just a one little door to a closet type setup that also wraps around. It's a little smaller of an area. And then there's another closet that also happens to house the water heater and where your soft water would live because this used to be the garage. So it'd be real easy to turn this back into a garage, I guess, if you wanted to, but it is a pretty cool setup the way it is because you could still add a garage to this property. There's your mini splint condensers, lake view, of course, and this does kind of back to a wash. So there's, you know, offers privacy to your neighbors. Still tons and tons of room back here. All right, guys, have a see Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough of the house over here on Electra Bay. Again, this one just came back on the market with a reduction to 1 million even. I will put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you guys can get all the original listing pictures, current price, and availability, of course, if you guys have any questions at all. Always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video as usual. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.